So hey YouTube, today I'm going to walk you through how I ran Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.1 beta on my Raspberry Pi 4 with 4 gigs of RAM. Let's get started. So Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.1 beta has a rather new kernel that requires UEFI booting. So we're going to update the firmware for UEFI on my 64 gig micro SD card and then we're going to boot Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.1 beta off a 16 gig USB thumb drive. The first step is to download the UEFI firmware from its link shown. From our computer, load it onto the boot partition of the micro SD card. And finally, remove the micro SD card and insert it into the Raspberry Pi. Next, go to the link shown and download the RHEL 9 beta DVD for ARM. Burn the DVD ISO onto a USB thumb drive. I used another 16 gig thumb drive. And I use the dd command to burn it onto the thumb drive. Next, insert the USB thumb drive into one of the blue USB 3 slots on the Raspberry Pi. Boot the Raspberry Pi into the UEFI screen and select the USB thumb drive as the boot device. You should see the running graphical user interface on the monitor connected to the mini HDMI port. I set it to install to another USB thumb drive. I set it to the server profile and I set the root password and I added a new user named RH user. Okay, finally, we're gonna go ahead and boot Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.1 beta off the thumb drive we just installed to. So go ahead and power off the, the Raspberry Pi, remove the uh, DVD ISO thumb drive, and we're going to go ahead and insert the installed thumb drive into one of the USB 3 slots. Next, we're going to boot the Raspberry Pi into the UEFI boot screen. And we're going to select the USB thumb drive as the boot device. Go ahead and let it boot into RHEL 9. And you can go ahead and log in as the user that you added. Mine was called RH user. So let's go ahead and switch to the live demo. Okay, we've booted the Raspberry Pi into RHEL 9. So let's go ahead and prove that it's running uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.1 beta. And we can see that it is. And you can see the kernel version as a 5.14 kernel. Um, you can see I'm logged in as my username that I added during the install process. And you can see that we're running on the Raspberry Pi 4. If we do a cat slash uh, proc slash CPU info, um, and you can see it's running on ARM. Um, but if we do that and we do a type with the grep. we can see that we have four cores. And if I um, switch to root, you can see that I can run subs, uh, subscription manager and go ahead and update. I can go ahead and register and update the uh, distribution. Um, I can also go ahead and uh, run containers if I like. You see that the podman command is included so I can go ahead and create and build and run containers. Um, and that's pretty much it for right now. This is all I've done so far. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.